Thank you. I'm following my dreams. I can never be, like, I'm not, I'm so happy now. And it was cool, because when I made this decision, I called my dad, because he's my best friend. And I said, hey dad, I got some big news for you. And my dad was like, son, I know you're gay, that's not news. Uh, <laughs> and I was like, no, 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 no. No, uh, I was like, no dad, I'm not gay, I'm gonna be a big comedian here in Austin, Texas. And I will never forget what my dad told me. He's like, no, don't do that, just be gay. Uh, <laughs> That was, that was my big Rocky Balboa speech before I moved here, and it was, it was cool. I'm following my dreams, and it's been amazing. But my first week here in Austin, I was walking the street, and a homeless man came up to me, and he's like, hey, yo, you got a dollar, Charlie Brown? <laughs> and I just shook my head at him and walked away. I was like, no, sir. And then he stopped me, he yelled. I've never got yelled at a, by a homeless man. He's like, yo, when you shake that big ass head, you look like Vladimir Putin's bobblehead. <laughs> Do y'all think so? Yeah. <laughs> that sucks. Uh, <laughs> and then at that point, I gave him $10 and I was like, please stop. Um, <laughs> and he looked at me really close and he's like, Do you have hair implants? And I gave him $20, I was like, please, <laughs> I'll buy you a house, just stop. Um, <laughs> and he <"Dah!" laughs> And he took that money, and he said, oh, what's your name, sir? I go, my name is Hooch. And he's like, well, thank you so much, Caillou, and he walked away. <laughs> and that hurt my feelings. Uh, <laughs> you ever be so mad at a homeless person that you pray for rain? Um, <laughs> Now I'm a good Mormon kid, I hate that I had that in me, you know what I mean? But I prayed for rain that night. And God didn't give me shit. Uh, <laughs> however, ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, it, it, this is not staged, it does hurt. Um, however though, I went home that night and I was praying to you know God and my little niece, she's four years old, she comes up to me and she goes, oh, what are you doing? I go, I'm praying. She goes, what's that? I go, oh, you pray for like, it's like talking to God. You pray for something that you need or for help. And my little niece Zoe looked at me and she's like, oh, you asking God for hair, huh? <laughs> and I was like, bitch, are you talking to homeless people? What's going on? <laughs> ah! <laughs> I did say that one. Uh, and then after that, I was like, no, I'm not. And then she looked at me and she's like, you should have Jada Pinkett Smith. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know how you know that reference. This is crazy. This is crazy. Uh, I am a Mormon from Utah. Any questions? Uh, <laughs> good. Do I soak? I'm glad you asked. Uh, do you guys know what soaking is? Yeah? Make some noise if you don't know what soaking is. I'm about to inform you. Welcome to my TED Talk. Uh, ah, okay. So soaking is, it's a, it's a loop here hole for us Mormons. Because we're told we cannot have sex until you're married. That's not fun. So, this is what we discovered. If you put it in your girl, right? And you leave it, and then you get your fat friend, Mr. Buttons here, to jump on the bed for you. It's not a sin, because it's help, right? Guys, it's amazing. I've done it nine times. In Utah, I'm known as a super soaker. Yeah, it is crazy. It is crazy. It's amazing though, I'm not gonna lie to you. Girls don't like it as much. It's really hard to sell it unless they're not Mormon. I was with my, uh, I was dating a black girl in Atlanta and I, I was like, ooh, can we soak? She was like, no, but you can come to my family cookout. Yeah, and I got excited, you know what I mean? I got too excited, I said, okie dokie. And she's like, yeah, you can't come anymore. Uh, <laughs> and I was like, no, babe, babe, babe. I didn't even get to say artichoke. Shock him. Ah, okay. That was a dumb joke. I'll give it to you. Yeah. I'll give it to you. Uh, it is interesting though. I do love being here in Austin. I am dating my first Latino girlfriend. Huh? They're cool. No Latinas here? No? Oh, you, you're Latino? No. Yes, I promise. Alright. Uh, <laughs> do you look whiter than me? That's crazy. I'm dating a Latina girl, and she's my first Latina girlfriend. She's dope, Mexican as it can get. 
She came to this country when she was eight from Cuba, and <laughs> okay, <laughs> she hates that joke too. Uh, nah, it's my first time dating a Latina girl, and I didn't realize that Latina women are like crazier than ever. You know what I mean? Latina girls can put it into sport mode when they go crazy. Yeah, dude, it's like she she does. She burns my clothes. It's a lot. <laughs> she, ah! <laughs> That wasn't the punchline, Kenny. <laughs> I, I, so she, she is, she's crazy, she puts him in sport mode. And I'm a dumb guy, so all the time when she's acting crazy, I'm like, oh, this will calm her down. I'm like, babe, you're acting a little crazy. I don't think if you know that. And she snaps, sport mode. She's like, oh, you little puta ass bitch. <laughs> Shock me. Uh, <laughs> and then she does something crazy. But I don't understand her very much because she says crazy things to me all the time. She'd be like, babe, te amo. And I'm like, I don't know what that means, but I love you a lot. You guys don't like this Mexican stuff, huh? Ah! I'll just go back to be calling myself bald. You guys like that way much more. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, I'm boss, baby. Ha ha ha. I hate, I hate that y'all laughed at that. Sucks. <laughs> I gotta grow my hair. Uh, <laughs> damn, dude, that sucks. I, I don't, I don't think I look like him. Uh, it's cool. It's cool. Maybe that's why I don't get any swipes on Tinder. Uh, no, that's a good point, though. I'm glad I brought that up. Uh, <laughs> me and my girlfriend, we met old school. We didn't meet on the dating apps. You know what I mean? We met at a Home Depot parking lot. <laughs> You do like the Latino jokes. I right, just got to be racist. That's what you want. I'll give it to you. Look at me, huh? <laughs> you don't think I'll say it? Just kidding. <laughs> that, uh, any black people in here? You don't count. Uh, <laughs> nah, I am from Utah. <laughs> and I'm not used to seeing so much diversity crowd. I ain't gonna lie to you, though. I did count the black people here. There's three and a half. Uh, <laughs> what are you, sir? No. Uh, <laughs> I know you're brown. Like, are you... You're from what? India? 7-Eleven. I like that place. Uh, cool. <laughs> Y'all are racist as fuck, dude. <laughs> if I would've known that, I would've got shocked at all. This is... <laughs> Racist material, do I have any more left? Uh, I don't think I do. I wanna share a quick story though with you guys. Everybody has a vice, you know what I mean? We all have something, like some people drink, some people smoke weed, but I grew up Mormon, so I grew up very, very sheltered. My vice is very, very small, and that's I fuck prostitutes. Uh, <laughs> no, you don't like that? Okay. <laughs> ah, yeah, that is it. Uh, it is sin, I should know. And the first time I ever did it, I went to this uh, Asian parlor, right? It was called GG Spa. And I knock on the door because my friend told me to ask for Kung Pao chicken. I wish I could make that up. Uh, <laughs> and, dude, I'm so scared right now. <laughs> she told me, so I knocked on the door and the fattest Asian lady I've ever seen opened the door. And she's like, are you here for a massage? And I was like, is there anybody else here? Um, she said, yes. So I went in the room and I was laying on this table, right? It was the most ghetto like spa room I've ever seen. They had a little like little yellow hand towel, barely big enough to cover my John Cena. Um, you, you get out! <laughs> you can't see it, uh, that's the point. And I'm laying on that table and the, and the Asian lady came in, the big fat one from earlier. And I go, ooh, what's your name? She goes, ooh, I'm Kung Pao Chicken. And I go, that's weird as fuck. And she looked at me. She said, you tell me a time you ever had bad Kung Pao Chicken. Good point. Uh, <laughs> she knows how to market herself, you know what I mean? <laughs> so she told me, she's like, $100 for a blowjob, $200 for sex. She went, uh, uh. And at that point, I was like, how much for a soak? Um, and she said, what the fuck is that? Uh, <laughs> so I explained it. That was my mech, that was my Asian girl. Was that not good enough? What the fuck was 
Y'all are racist. Y'all, I hate that you made me do that. All right, y'all made me do that. Um, so she like, what is soaking? And I explained it to her how I did to you guys. And she looked at me, she's like, nah, that's the gay shit I've ever heard. <laughs> Thank you guys so very much, I've been hooked. Thank you enough for Dizzy one more time, and thank you so much for the shot call.